Okay, week 23. Wow, it's amazing how much time has gone by. Okay, so the word for the week is drywall. Um, my goal this week is to finish the drywall. So I need to get it up on the walls, um, get everything cleaned out. I don't know if I have to clean everything out first. We get everything up on the walls, uh, tape and mud. I need some more screws in the ceiling um, and then uh, tape and mud and, and uh, we're good. Uh, first thing is to go get that wire down in the seat out of the ceiling. So find that and get it down. And then we're done with ceilings. Uh, a couple of spots over in the, how do I point? Over in the, that spot over in the, by the front door. Get that and then really we are done with ceilings. Um, get the tape and mud done. Uh, and that's this week. So if I can get drywall done this week, I'm going to be happy. Uh, that means that uh, the next thing that can happen is I can uh, prime everything and I'll spray this. So we'll go from there. Uh, then I've got flooring. I can do flooring. And then uh, literally everything else in the house is pretty much dust free because when I get the drywall done, then that's the big dust thing. I can do everything else on the back deck and carry it in when I'm cutting something or doing anything else. So drywall. That's the week. Here we go. Okay, day two, Tuesday. We uh, finished up everything back in the uh, bedroom, closet and bathroom uh, that I wanna do right now. I've got one wall that I can finish with normal drywall, but I wanna wait until I get the uh, plumbing done in the wall there. So I'll do that uh, at, the, at the end. So that means that <clears throat> today we're out in the main room and the mud room. So we'll get the drywall on here. The chimney parts are supposed to arrive today. So that means that uh, uh, the goal today would be if I can get all the drywall up out here. And a bonus would be if the chimney parts come in and I can get the uh, chimney done and close that up. That'd be a bonus. So we'll see how that works. Um, it's supposed to be hot today uh, and it's humid. Uh, so, uh, no breeze. We'll see where it goes from there, but uh, at least we're not out in the sun. So, there we go. Okay, day three, Wednesday. I didn't get a uh, end of day video yesterday. I uh, worked uh, till noon and then uh, had to go over and uh, um, wait on uh, the uh, appliance repair, appliance delivery folks. My neighbor had a uh, fridge being delivered and they had some errands to run, so I uh, went over there and waited on them. And then I needed to run to Lowe's uh, to place my last, what I think is my last uh, construction order. Doors, tile, basically the bathroom, uh, the interior doors, uh, and some um, uh, lattice that goes up around the bottom of the house, and the, uh, the underside of the roof uh, on the other side of the porch and the deck. So that may be the last construction uh, delivery that I have. <clears throat> the one after that will be appliances and cabinets. So to do that, that means that uh, we got to finish drywall. So we got a lot done yesterday. We got all uh, the, almost all the walls uh, for the um, main area here. We got the entire mudroom done. Um, and the two walls that I'm waiting on, uh, I'll finish everything except two walls. That's the, the wall that separates the mudroom and the wall that's uh, from the living room and the wall that separates the bathroom from the storage area. Both of those are wet walls. They've got plumbing on them. And I wanna make sure I get the vents done and everything else so I've got access on both sides before I start messing with that. So I'll do that, um, I'll do that hopefully this afternoon. The goal today would be to uh, finish all the drywall up on the walls and the uh, plumbing done uh, so I can close in all the walls. So basically all the drywall on the walls. That's the plan today, that's the, the goal. So we'll see where it ends up. Anyway, that's it, here we go. Okay, end of day three, Wednesday. So didn't get as far as I wanted to today. I had to mess around with this stove uh, installation, this pipe thing, but I got that done, so that's, that's a good deal. I had to do a little custom 
work up there to get it up in there and get it right, get it married up with the two different companies that make stove pipe and everything else. So that that's the that's the last of that wall drywall we need to do. Um, and I got the uh, kitchen area all the way over, all that done. So basically everything and the trim back in here, all that's done all the way through. So the only thing left is this and the two wet walls. So I need to do the uh, plumbing on the wet walls and drywall them and then drywall this. And then I can clean everything out. We can start talking about taping and mudding. Uh, I do have to figure out what I'm going to do along here on both sides um, simply because um, you know the drywall is you know half inch off the floor um, but I didn't stick it against the ceiling what I should have done was I should have stuck it against the ceiling because the gap at the bottom would have been covered by a baseboard so that leaves me this spot up here so either that's and it won't happen here because it'll be flat against there but it'll happen here so that means it's either uh, taping and mudding and uh, dealing with that we'll see how that works or I thought about it, I could put a nice molding across there uh, on both sides um, maybe uh, the difference between because I was going to do a wood ceiling and I decided to do the drywall ceiling so maybe the difference is if I put a wood accent across there uh, We'll see. We'll see. We get the drywall done first. So, uh, working on the skid steer right now. Neighbors over helping me on that. So, that's what we'll do now. That's it for the day. Okay, day four, Thursday. <clears throat> so, uh, got the skid steer all straightened out. Uh, appreciate my neighbor for that. Uh, got it all the way. I got it out of the way. Last night was a little later night. Um, so today, as I've said for the last day and a half, I hope to finish the drywall. So, and when I say finish the drywall, it occurred to me talking to somebody yesterday, when I finish, say finish the drywall, I mean finish hanging it. I still gotta go mud and tape. Uh, so we'll do that. So you can see above my head over here, I got this. Um, I did get the uh, chimney uh, framed in up there. So that's good. Uh, now I'm gonna finish this. And then I have this wall and a wall uh, in, that separates the bathroom and the storage area. But before I do this wall and that storage bathroom area, I need to put the um, venting pipe up uh, from uh, the, uh, because the washer and dryer are on that side. Uh, so I need to put the, the drainage pipe in there and the uh, connected to the pipe in the basement and the uh, vent. I also need to put the uh, uh, same thing in the uh, bathroom for the shower, toilet, and vanity. So we'll put that in. Uh, a little bit of crawling around underneath and we're done. Um, so yeah, that's it. Key here is trying to get the drywall done to that. Uh, Lowe's should deliver sometime today. Uh, that'll be the bathroom uh, and the interior doors. So we'll, uh, we'll leave the interior doors out until we finish the drywall and painting. Uh, at least all the um, priming uh, and then we'll uh, tackle the bathroom when we get to that so anyway here we go okay end of day three Wednesday um, let's see so we finished that edge I swear to God figuring out the angles of some of these pieces up here it's like playing one of those silly ass games and I suck at it so uh, anyway that's done, uh, that's done, the mud room. So the mud room, I had to go downstairs and get the uh, vent stuff done. Mud room is uh, almost done. So uh, washer and dryer hookup, or washer hookup right there. This uh, stays open until I put the fittings on that for that to come out for the uh, hot water uh, heater that's gonna set in the corner. Uh, still need to finish drywall on that spot right there. Uh, let's see. This room is done. The closet. That's all done. Dark as heck. And then the bathroom. That wall is there. Um, with the uh, plumbing fixtures in there. Toilet flanges in. Um, 
water is in there for the uh, uh, that's for the shower I need to plumb that up there um, and then so and then here's the vanity so interesting because all my plumbing is below the floor um, so we got the shower <clears throat> the toilet and the vanity now all of that has to be vented so you have to have air behind it uh, to get the water out to the uh, uh, out of the house uh, you know towards the uh, this uh, sewage um, so to do that I decided to go with uh, these so this is an AAV uh, I think it's an automatic air vent uh, basically it's a it's a one-way valve uh, that's that allows air to go in in but not out uh, so you can never get sewer gases back up into the house it only lets air in and when you know you flush the toilet you do whatever uh, basically all of these these three connections these three drains converge right about there underneath the house um, so this having a drain uh, having a vent can vent all three of those um, and it's not a big deal. So that's what I ended up with. Uh, then we got the PEC stuff going on there. So uh, Lowe's did not deliver today. Um, someone bought my shower pan. So there's no sense in them bringing out everything for the shower if I don't have the shower pan because i got to do all the tiling around it. So uh, that's the... Um, back up for a second. That's the stub out for the uh, kitchen sink. And it'll have a AAV at the top of it also. Um, I'll show you that when I put it together. Um, so then we're back here. No more drywall. No more drywall. I didn't do too bad. I, I waste a lot because I don't do this for a living. I waste an awful lot. Uh, so, uh, and I'm going to need maybe one more sheet uh, just because I could put these pieces together, but then I'd have more uh, joints to do. So I'd rather rather not do that. So anyway. That's what we'll do, and uh, that'll be it. Tomorrow we'll uh, um, go get uh, a couple of things for the uh, plumbing, uh, get some breakfast, uh, come back, and uh, I think a good idea would be clean all this place out, um, get it all cleaned out. Uh, then I can do the last bit of drywalling and I'll be done. Uh, then I can st uh, spend my time uh, mudding and painting, or mudding and taping. Uh, waiting until next week when the uh, plumbing stuff gets here for that because I've got plenty of time to mud and tape. It's going to take a while. So that's it. That's it for the day, right? Okay, day five, uh, Friday. So I've got uh, a little bit of uh, prep work in the uh, bathroom. I need to put in the exhaust fan and the uh, light in the shower. Um, then it'll be ready for uh, the uh, mold-resistant, water-resistant uh, drywall when it arrives, I think Monday or Tuesday. I've got uh, a connection I need to make in the mudroom so I can get the uh, um, uh, water uh, lines that come out of the wall for the uh, hot water heater. Um, and, then, uh, and then I'm gonna see if I've got enough uh, drywall left over and I'm happy with uh, the pieces to finish up the little spots right in the uh, entranceway. Um, and then if I have any time left, last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, propane line. Uh, and get underneath the house and drill a hole for that and install the propane line. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, this is the uh, end of day uh, five, Friday. Um, Got the shower, uh, got the uh, shower valve in, shower head, all that hooked in. There's the drain plugged over, toilet plugged over, water. We saw all this yesterday. I also decided to clean the place out, get rid of all the extra drywall and all that stuff, clean it out. Um, I may or may not have used that leaf blower to get all the dust out. And if I did, I didn't film it that way. I didn't make anybody worried about breathing dust. Anyway, uh, all that done. Mud room, got it finished up here. This is the uh, <coughs> the cold water uh, supply for the uh, hot water tank, which will sit right here in the corner. 
and the hot water return for the house. There's the uh, power for the hot water heater. Uh, washer, drain, dryer, plug. Um, still need to get this and this and this. I had a bunch of pieces, but if I pieced it, I'd have all kinds of little uh, um, uh, joints to do and everything else. So I decided not to do that. I'll just grab another two sheets of drywall. Um, that way there's only one uh, joint here and uh, one joint there and that. So it'll just make it look better, especially by the front door you're going in and out. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I did not get the uh, um, shower light or the uh, uh, fan installed. I had to quit for a little while and go out and take care of yard stuff. I got into uh, yard, the, the grass that was growing was already too crazy, so I had to get all that piled up. There's a pile of trash out there, extra pile of all the old drywall. Ooh, that doesn't... How about through the window? Yeah, look at that. Okay. Drywall, that stuff. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll get the... Um, fan and light up and uh, we'll go from there. I actually think tomorrow is a uh, laundry day. So that's it. End of uh, end of day five. This is a day out on the deck. Okay, day six. Got the laundry done. Back. Um, doing the water check. Make sure that this valve is not leaking at all. So the water's on right now. No leaks here. Everything's good. As a matter of fact, I'm actually flushing this line out. This is the main waistline. So I'm just flushing all the PVC burrs and, and dirt and anything else that might have got in it out. That's capped off. Let that run for a few minutes. Um, and then uh, I capped this off out here. So I'll show you the uh, underneath the floor uh, here in a few minutes. We'll go down there. Um, and then all the water and everything running that way around there. I'll, uh, we'll go down the stairs and look around at the pipes and everything else. Okay, now that we've done all the inside plumbing and everything, the uh, Plumbing comes out right under there, goes through here. I still need to grade a little bit of this, and then there's lattice work that goes over that. I also need to fill in a little bit more on here. Basically, the ground level will be where that uh, two by four is there, so I need to fill that back in. It was all muddy the other day, so I couldn't do that. So the uh, main drain line comes out here, follows this that I had dug uh, the same time when I had all of the uh, um, electric trenching dug and goes all the way out here and comes out here okay so for most of you viewers out there most of the folks in my friend family and friends watching this you know god bless you you live in the city um, this is called a lagoon uh, this is exactly what's going to treat the sewage. So uh, um, if in Missouri, if you have more than 10 acres, or I'm sorry, more than 5 acres, uh, and you have proper setback from your uh, neighbors, and my neighbor's way the hell over there and way the hell back there and even farther that way. So then you can treat your water yourself. Uh, you don't need to put a septic system in and everything else. Now the septic systems, they're closed. Uh, and that is uh, uh, anaerobic bacteria that eats through all the slime and sludge and everything else that comes out of the bathroom, comes out of the house and everything else. Um, lagoons use aerobic uh, um, and, uh, enzymes, aerobic, I'll get that in a minute. So it's aerobic, meaning they need sunlight and air. Uh, so this area... Um, I may actually end up taking a couple of trees out here, but this area gets full sunlight uh, right about noontime for the rest of the day, and then it's open all afternoon. So this gets plenty of sun through here. 
the only thing left to do around here is uh, basically shape the dirt a little bit more so it's built up around here and built up around here. Uh, basically what they want, uh, the state uh, wants the guidelines that they'd like you to follow. Of course, again, there's no rules out here so because there's no inspections. But the guidelines that they ask you to follow uh, is to berm up the dirt around here, and they even want a fence sometimes to keep animals out from falling in. Um, I left this uh, angled in case, you know, a deer were to fall in there. He can't climb up the sides, but he can, you know, walk out this, so he's just fine there. Uh, but I'll, I'll trim this up a little bit more once, once I do some grass and dirt work out here later. Um, but, uh, yeah, this literally is where all the sewage flows out here, all the house stuff and everything else flows out here, it goes into this water, uh, settles to the bottom, the uh, sun and the wind break it up. Now this is just like, um, for those of you folks that are living right there in, uh, in DC, uh, the DC water treatment plant, yep, all those ponds out there and everything else, the, the, the treatment ponds that they have where they've got the water going, it's the exact same thing. All they do is they keep the water moving and they uh, um, aerate it. I don't have to worry about aerating it because, first of all, I'm not doing nearly as much as they are. And second of all, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a big enough area with a very small amount of material going into it. So it actually works out really well. And this, this is actually oversized for my house. Um, um, I actually read the, uh, the size of it uh, um, wrong. Uh, and I was looking at the outside uh, edges instead of the actual size of the pond. So it's, it's going to be more than enough than I'll ever need in my entire life and a lifetime of anything else. So, and uh, up back to the house here, there'll be no smell, there'll be no nothing, everything will be fine. Now, I tell you one thing, the reason why you do smell like there in D.C. every once in a while you smell it, first of all, there's a tremendous amount of material going into the D.C. treatment plant and any other waste treatment plant. Um, but it's also because they're constantly aerating it, meaning they're putting air into it because they can't depend on the wind aerating the ponds with all that material in it. They have to f uh, introduce uh, artificial uh, wind into it, aerating it. <clears throat> so in order to do that, um, that, that creates more smell. This will set just like this. That's the water dripping out of it there from the, the last of the water test. Um, so that'll be it. Um, anaerobic enzymes. That's what I was trying to say. So yeah, as long as the sunlight can get to it and the wind can get to it, we're just fine. Uh, a little dirt work, clean up some of these bushes and trees we cleaned up when we did this, and we're good. Okay, that's it. Uh, Got to go put in a uh, light uh, and bathroom fan. And then today we're supposed to start uh, digging footers for the shop. Here we go. Okay, downstairs I stuck this valve in. This is the last part of it. Just a main water shut off for the house. Technically there's a couple of ways to shut the water off, but I want to have one that was right there. That goes up here, feeds the uh, filter. Boy, you can see why the filter is there when you have the water turned off and then you turn back on the brand new line. I mean, that's just dirty sediment, plastic pieces and everything else. So I'll... Uh, I'll let this run for a few minutes and then I'll, that way I know the line's clean. And then uh, before I turn it back on for the last time for the house, I'll change that filter. Okay, end of day six. Or as I start to call this, the John Deere parking lot. Um, so here's the, uh, the guy digging the footers. Left his tractor here for some work later. But uh, this is the beginning of the shop. So that's a uh, 20 by 25 uh, shop. That's the uh, footers that they dug. This is the uh, water line and the electric line I put in uh, several weeks ago. So they dug the footers there and we'll get a shop going in there. And then we'll empty out this and put it in the shop and in the house. And then we'll drag uh, this over and put it um, in the um, next to it so it can be a storage area for that. Okay. It's amazing the things that, uh, the goals that I have during the week and how much I actually get done during the week. I always plan more than I'm ever going to accomplish, but oh well. So, uh, house is, so we're at the end of this week. Um, and not that I needed to, but just because I 
thought it'd be a good idea. I put those bulbs in. Now that's not the bulbs that are gonna be in it full time. I mean, I just put those in for now. There's LED fixtures that go in there and then. But this actually has some light, so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, we can see what the room would look like with uh, actual lights in it. Eh, and again, you know, sometimes you just wanna do something that makes it look like you accomplished something. Right? See you next week.